them having more reps, you know, a year's worth of reps with them, with their offense, you know, with, with you guys, you know, you're not getting those same kind of reps against that offense every week. It's kind of unique. How do you kind of supplement that, account for that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a challenge when you face a, a different style offense that you don't, you know, see all the time. Uh, you know, you got to try to get as much as you can in. Uh, obviously, it was nice to, uh, you know, have a bye week, you know, ahead of it so you could get, you know, a, a few extra reps of it in there. Uh, but it's a challenge, and, and, and it's really hard to replicate because just as if when they implemented their offense last year and there's a lot of things that they work through, and that's what they do. You know, so to try to get that exact replication from a, a scout team when you, you have a card, you know, all those little nuanced pieces of, hey, you sit it down in this zone, you run through in this, you, you know, here's the route adjust, here's the here's the check for the quarterback. I mean, you, you can't get it all uh, perfect in practice. So uh, there's going to be there's going to be a piece that the guys just kind of have to they're going to have to play on Saturday and have to adjust on the fly. And we're going to have to, you know, continue to coach. But I think. The big thing um, that we did last year that we need to do, obviously the turnovers were, were huge, but it, uh, tackling, you have to be able to tackle and you have to pinball carriers to the ground. You gotta play with great vision. And up and getting those hidden yards, I think a lot of people forget uh, and don't realize the nuances of the hidden yards within that offense, you know, as receivers get uh, comfortable to, to be able to catch, turn, move up field. So again, instead of being second in, you know, six or second and seven or second and five, all of a sudden it's, they, they're in a lot of second and twos and second and ones, you know, and they're able to just continue to move the ball down the field. So, um, no, it's a challenge, you know, and, and, a, and a really big one. And, you know, they get to do it, you know, it, at home. You know, we don't have the benefit of the crowd. Uh, you know, that, that's been really helpful in the first half of the season. So, uh, you know, we've got to go down and play really good football. Yeah, they, they played okay. You know, we. It, it's one of those things, you know, and I think Coach you was asked that, and, you know, I think it's probably the, the right word. You know, we held up. Um, but you, you do miss, you know, the fact that, that Ox was not just holding up. He was making plays. So whenever you lose, uh, you lose production, you know, you feel that. And so I think guys understand that they've got to continue to push and elevate and get better. Uh, and in this guy, I think that was one of the underrated things. And I, I know we talked about it last year when we played, uh, you know, when we played state was the fact that those three guys up front, they just, I mean, between Josh and uh, Quentin and Phil, I mean, they really dominated the front, um, you know, and really controlled it. You know, they played big, they played fast, they played physical. Um, you know, and we're going to need we're going to need that again. You know, and their offensive line I think's much improved. Um, you know, and they're they're big, they're strong. You know, they're they're able to latch on. You know, as a pass rusher. So, uh, yeah, they, we're going to. It's going to be different for these guys. You know, for our guys that you know the feel that they're going to get the three man rush that you may feel like you're getting home in practice. You, you know, you're not getting home and. Those routes are going to be longer, and, and we're going to have to stay in coverage longer. So we're going to have to do a good job there. Well, they got to get they got to get their feet in the ground. They got to see the cue. You know, we've you know the the big thing is we got to play with with great vision in our drops and. and we got to get our feet in the ground and we got to tackle and understand that, you know, a catch tackle is not a bad down. And first down, they're going to make first downs. They're going to move the ball. I mean, they're averaging over 400 yards a game. I mean, they're going to move the ball. They're going to score points. Um, but you just can't, you know, you, but you can't stay stagnant. Either. I think we, we, there's, you know, times that uh, we're going to have to mix it up. Um, but we're going to have to do a good job for the linebacker wise, you know, they, it was funny, we were going through, you know, sort of the, the, the six interceptions from last year, and, you know, one was a defensive lineman and four came from the linebacker position, two inside, two outside. So, again, that's where a lot of the routes go. And so, 
you know, if you can get some tips or some overthrows. And obviously you never expect that you're going to get sort of that many. Um, but we've got to be able to try to create some, you know, and, and help out the offense. I think he I think he does a really nice job in their system. He he understands you can tell that he grasps um, you know, what's where to go with the ball. You know, he, he does a nice job of you know of understanding which coverage he's getting, uh, which receiver's gonna be open, which check to make. Uh, no, he's he's really a, a great quarterback for that system. Uh, and he, and he's extremely accurate. So he's gonna put the ball, he's gonna give them runners balls, you know, on their mesh routes so that they can catch it and keep running. Uh, you know, he knows where to put it down in the red zone on fade balls. So like, it, and their receivers, again, I, I think they're playing at an entirely different level than the receivers last year.